For this activity, you're going to want to start from Mrs. Bell's uh, attractscience.blogspot.com website. Scroll down and find where you uh, can create your own graph under Science Fair Help. Click on that. At the top of the web page, you'll see several links that you can use. I want you to focus on graphing. Click on it. And for this particular activity, for the mark and recapture of turtles, you're going to use a bar graph. Now, this is how you design and uh, print and save your bar graph, using these tabs here. Uh, for the first page for the design, just leave it as it is. It's already defaulted at the uh, vertical uh, direction of the bars, the rectangle shape of the bars, and the color. So just click on Data. And for the graph title, you're going to put Mark and Recapture Turtles. For the y-axis or the horizontal axis or your manipulated variable, you're going to put years. For the y-axis or your vertical axis or your responding variable, you're going to put total population. Your source is just the textbook. Now the data set, you're only going to do up to four years in this project, as you should already know based on your uh, outcome. And you're only going to have one data per each four years, so leave it the way that it is. Don't worry about the group. Uh, the group label should say years. Item one is year one. Item two is year two. Item three is year four. Item five, four is year, I'm sorry, year three. And item four is year four. Now your value is what you found out. What was your total population in the mark and recapture? Let's just say, for example, you had 30 turtles in year one, you had 54 turtles in year two, you had 75 turtles in year three, and you had 66 turtles in year four. Your minimum value always start off at zero. Your max value will be the highest number that we have, and let's say 75, okay? Scroll down slightly and click Update. Now, you don't have to worry about the labels. All this is is just pretty stuff. Don't worry about that right now. You don't have time. But hit Preview, and this is what your graph will look like when you've done printed it out. Okay? How you print it out. Go to Print and Save. Okay? Click on Print. Uh, you're going to get a pop-up screen. It's going to tell you to, uh, I want you to print the format as a PDF. Click on print. It's going to take a few minutes to upload. And once it has, go ahead and click on the little uh, printer over on the left-hand corner. And make sure that the printer is set up as a uh, room 125. And you can scroll down if it's not. Okay? Everything should be in order at this point, and you're going to hit OK and everything should print up, okay? When you're done, just go ahead and cancel out of this and turn your project in. Thank you.